Hello, my name is Billy Mossman and today I'm going to be reading a book called No Baths Week, written by Katrina McKelvey and illustrated by Sherry Hughes. On Monday, Ben finger painted and Bandit paw printed their secret hideout. Found you, said Mum. Time for a bath. It's no baths week, said Ben. Is it now? said Mum curiously. How will you get clean? Ben and Bandit scanned the backyard and spotted the sprinkler. Oh, brr, the water was super cold, complained Ben. That was a bad idea. On Tuesday, Ben and Bandit explored forbidden, hidden places. Where have you been? asked Mum. You both need a bath. But it's no baths week all week, Ben reminded her. Ben and Bandit gave each other a sneaky wink, then raced to the water feature in the front yard. Splash, 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 splash. I don't like everyone staring at us, complained Ben. That was another bad idea. On Wednesday, Ben and Bandit baked dog biscuits. Crunchy ones, bone-shaped ones, even snail-flavoured ones. Bandit devoured every last crumb. Yum! Kitchen chaos, exclaimed Mum. It must be bath time. It's still no baths week, said Ben. So he invited Paula's pooch pampering to come and visit. Ooh, blow, 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 much work for us. Oh, we've got dog hair in our mouths and we look ridiculous, complained Ben. That was an even worse idea. On Thursday, Ben and Bandit fearlessly dug to the bottom of the sandpit. They scooped, shoveled, piled sand everywhere. Bath time, said Mum. Mum pointed to the washing machine. In you go. Was Mum serious? But it's no baths week, remember? Spluttered Ben. Mum started to giggle. Can we have a soak in the laundry tub instead? Said Ben. Yeah, that'll be good. Splash, splash, flap, flap, flap. Oh no, 
Now we're too shiny and flapping isn't any fun, moaned Ben. We need a new idea fast. On Friday, Ben and Bandit made a gazillion sticky, gooey mud pies. They placed their creations one on top of the other until their colossal pile touched the sky. Super stack, said Mum. But what about this mammoth mess? Let's try the car wash, said Ben. Jump in the wagon, bandit. Whoosh, grab, squirt, grab, squirt, blow, blow, blow. The car wash was a silly idea. Too noisy and we're too fluffy, groaned Ben. I'm out of ideas, Bandit, and there's two days to go. On Saturday, Ben and Bandit collected all the dried out mud pies. They added water to make a monster mud puddle. And then Ben set up a slide to slip right into the middle. <laughs> you cannot escape the bath any longer, said Mum. But we're nearly at the end of no baths week, said Ben feeling disappointed. I have an idea you haven't tried, suggested Mum. The steaming hot dishwasher. We're doomed, said Ben. And they raced to the bath. Ah, splash, splash. Sunday, Ben and Bandit helped Mum build a vegetable garden. Ben arranged dirt into rows. Mum taught Bandit to dig holes for the seeds. Dirt went everywhere, in their hair, inside their clothes, even in their ears. Guess what you need, Mum, said Ben cheekily. A bath, replied Mum. That's the best idea you've had all week. Then she grabbed the hose. In case you're wondering, Mum, next week is go to bed late week, announced Ben. Thank you. Hello, my name is Katrina McKelvey and this is my friend Karen. And I'm the author of this book, No Baths Week. And my friend Billy just signed it for you. Now, my friend Karen also has another little friend here. This is Bandit and he's from the book. And I think Karen has some questions to ask me. Is that right? Yes, I yes. do. What was your inspiration for writing the book? Well, actually, I was a little bit naughty. I was in school. We have school for writers and I was in school one day and instead of doing what I was supposed to be doing, this story idea just popped into my head. And so I started writing this story when I was supposed to be doing something else in class. Don't you do that, boys and girls, but that's where this story came from. <laughs> and what was your favourite part <gasps> of the story? I have two. Bandit. 
is one of my favourite parts of the story. And it's because I didn't have a dog at the time when I wrote the story. So what do authors do? They make things up. So I just made him up so I could feel like I had a real dog. And then when we had the big book launch, it's like a party when we celebrate when books come out. We went and had a big dog picnic in the park and everybody could bring their dogs along while they read No Bath Sweet. So we had about 20 dogs all at this picnic while I read the story and we had lots of fun. Another favourite part is this page where we talk about a monster mud. See, fun. Yeah. It was fun. And what was the most difficult part to write? Well, this book has seven days in it, and each day Ben and Bandit have to get clean without having a bath. So I had to think of lots of ideas about how they could get clean without having a bath. So my imagination was really stretched, but I made it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs>